Recording has been started. All right. Welcome back to the recording stream. Uh, recording? Yeah, I think All it's right, just yeah. recording. I don't think there's <laughs> stream going on here. Don't forget time. Don't forget time. They heard us. It's important. I always remember because uh, when I'm practicing Wario, I'm always just looking at the clock like, when can I do it? When can like, I do it? When, when can I throw out that loss? Yeah, whenever I used to fight Rosalina, because Rax used to have one, oh. I would always just count 12 seconds <laughs> and then BAP! Oh, hit yeah. it with Peach's forward air. Oh, you used to play Peach? Oh, yeah. It was, uh, I used to play Peach and Ryu. Hmm. Um, and I liked how technical they were, but then Beto became a thing, and I'm like, wow, I can play Cloud and not feel bad. Because <laughs> right. I'll actually be outskilling. By the way, we're getting into the match. We've got Enrique and uh, Shika here. Enrique, Enrique is very good. He took second at the last uh, last local. Oh really? Yeah. He uh, he did a total breakout performance with that. Um, like it was surprising for me because the previous tournament tournament I had two stocked as Lucas. Uh, I mean two owed and two stocked. Mm -hmm. And he just improved so quickly. Uh, playing Diddy now because uh, I'm not sure if he just got bored of Lucas. I know he still plays him and it's his best character, but um, I, I play Diddy uh, as well, and that's what I used to beat him. So he probably picked this character up so that he could learn, which is very smart. Um, by the way, commentating the match, uh, it's pretty even. Yeah, so far, uh, Shika. Shika actually in the lead. Arms length. Yeah, throw that back grab, he's gonna get punished there. And I like how decisive um, his Diddy is. Like, you can just tell he knows what he's going to do literally every single time he makes a move. Definitely. He has a very clean Diddy, you don't just see. Oh Ooh, man, he goes for he that. He tried bounce. going for that. Seeing some footsies here. Uh, Shika can definitely take this stock. He just needs a one Shika good can take this stock with pretty much any move in his tool set. But. Oh, and there it is. Forward air taking Diddy, unfortunately, good. being somewhat lighter weight. Yep. Definitely false to Link stuff. It's not. Oh, oh it will. Oh, wow, good job. He's at 140. Link is a Well, I guess he is fresh. Yeah, oh, that's true. He does refresh after the stock. Some uh, ledge cancels there, fair, fair. Oh, Ooh, almost right getting there. in with that. I think Sheikah might have been better served by catching that roll with an uppy. Um, it has about the same amount of lag, but it covers a lot more. Yeah. Falls in with that neutral, it's definitely an excellent tool. And Sheikah going toe to toe with this Diddy. Definitely. I kind of wish Sheikah played Toon Link, to be honest. Um, he plays Link like he should be playing Toon Link, which is the funny part. <laughs> right, he's get, he gets you know, bomb follow-ups, and I'm like, I don't even know if Link could do any of this. I thought that was Toon Link's time. Exactly. Like, obviously, it's important for Link, too, but he relies on them a lot less. So, you know, Toon Link, with his speed, it would be a little bit scary seeing what he could do with that character, especially with how good his Link is. It's true. Um, Toon Link noted to be um, at least A tier. He's but definitely good. I've, I've, I've seen him in, uh, really up there in various tiers. Oh. He got a back throw there. Doesn't quite kill. Enrique, one thing I did notice that he doesn't do, um, he does it with Lucas, but he doesn't do it with Diddy. Oh, oh wow. That's, 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 that's an unfortunate thing about Link is if you can get right on top of him when he's recovering with that up E. Yeah. He'll get a spike. But uh, as I was saying, Enrique, what he needs to start doing um, when he gets grabs is Diddy. Mm -hmm. uh, pummeling. <laughs> oh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, like, even just a little bit. Like, at 112, Link should be in that 50 50 zone for the up air if he stalled it properly. Mm -hmm. um, so, any extra damage is actually just going to help. But if he hasn't, you know, been stalling it, just get that extra damage and throw for stage position. Looks like uh, we're Dream Land. Dream Land. Interesting. This is Sheik's, uh, Sheikah's counter pick, right? Yeah, it is. Um, as a Diddy player, I'm actually very comfortable with this stage. Mm -hmm. um, I think he, he might just be hoping for uh, 
maybe just killing a little bit earlier. But yeah, because Diddy, Diddy does have a little bit of trouble killing. Like, it's not as bad. Oh, that's oh. unfortunate. It just falls right off the edge. And oh, that's that's terrible. It's an but, um, battle for Sheikah. Yeah. But uh, as I was saying, Diddy, he does... Um, have trouble killing like with his smash attacks they don't do a lot of damage but he's got a lot of kill set up so the only thing I could think with this is that the giant blast zones of the stage are gonna benefit Sheikah yeah which would be the reason why he would choose this stage yeah and I, I'd have to agree I mean uh, I think the ceiling's a little bit lower and that might favor Diddy but Link has a pretty solid up smash well I was thinking more about forward smash Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I know that Link's forward smash... It, personally, I actually hate Link's forward smash, up smash, I mean, because he almost killed him at 70 hmm. with that. And it just does so much damage, super hard to do anything from. But that's just a personal thing. I have a friend who plays Link. Uh, either way, good job with these bombs. Catches his banana. And I like that he uses the sex kick to the neutral to cover his landing. Oh yeah, a lot of Link players, they're, uh, for some reason Ooh, they throw out second the hit, And like, that's how big that blast zone is. Second hit is stronger, and it killed at 110 on Smashville, but at 120 it didn't kill with the second hit. So I still think this is a good counter pick for him, but it's going to be harder for him to get these kills. Anyways, you were saying? Oh, uh, I've actually forgotten. <laughs> she goes... I'm in trouble taking him out. Oh, there it is. He still has an uphill battle, but oh, with Rage, you know, anything's possible. Yeah, the worst part is that was a pretty even stock. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, uh, Diddy Kong had about 50 more damage. So if Sheikah plays this well, he might still be able to bring this back, but the amount of percentage is just super high. Yep. Yeah. Just uh, one down tilt and he'll up smash, and that'll be it for I... That down smash. Didn't do it. Oh, he might have saved oh, him with he that. Felt, he, 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 he saved him with the peanut, which is a little, little bit, uh, ooh, one more hit might have actually broken his shield. Mm -hmm. And that banana, oh. Nope. Ooh. She got excellent at the bottom. And that up tilt definitely take takes it. it. That's unfortunate for Sheikah. It looks like, you know, maybe if he didn't SD super early, he might have been able to take that. But. Yeah, it was a pretty even match other than that quick fall. Um, but unfortunately, you know, just... Enrique is really good with his fundamentals. He's able to get those kills just by waiting. Hmm. I did I did appreciate uh, Sheikah's slight drift back on the up B to stop the down air, though. Because um, he was able to knock him away and recover for a little longer, but that can only get you so far. That's true. 